So this is 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven, and we have this circuit that's originally connected here, and we want to find I naught for T is greater than zero. So let's first concentrate on T is less than zero, or T is less than zero. The circuit would look something like this for T is less than zero. We have a resistor here, resistor here. And if this is connected for a long time, this becomes a short circuit. The inductor becomes a short circuit. And then we have the resistor here. So this is a short circuit here. And we have eight ohms, four ohms, and four ohms over here. So for this is uh, 24 volts. Okay. Now let's try to find I naught because that's what we're looking for in the problem. And I think we can start by a source transformation. Remember a source transformation. Remember V source equals the I source times R here. And we have 24 volts and uh, we have a resistance of 4 ohms. So our I source is going to be 6 amps. So if we draw, draw that circuit now, we have our... So we did a source transformation, and then we have our 4 ohms, 4 ohms. So these are both 4 now. And then we have our 8 ohms. 8 ohms. And we're still looking for I naught here. Okay. These two are in parallel. So we can join those together in parallel. So we have 4 times 4 divided by 4 plus 4. So that's 16 divided by 8. And that is 2 ohms. So we can just... Let's just redraw this. And we'll draw the two ohms in here. And we can figure out I naught now by doing a current divider, our current divider, and these are in parallel. So that is equal to two divided by two plus eight times uh, our six amps here. So I naught is then 12 over 10, which equals 1.2 amps. So that is for T equal to zero. So this is for T is less than zero, less than or equal to zero. So T, the I naught at zero is 1.2 amps here. Okay, so we're gonna need that. We're gonna need that because that is our original I here for the circuit. Now at time, for time greater than zero, this thing becomes open, open here. So what we have is just this part of the circuit over here. Let's redraw that part of the circuit. So that becomes with our inductor and here. So this is, what is that resistance? That's four and eight. And this inductor is four Henry. Four Henry, eight ohms, four ohms. Okay. Now this is I naught here. And these two are in series with each other. Those two are in series with each other. 
So they can be combined. They can be combined. So combining those two, we get uh, 12 ohms. Combine those two. And now we have a source free RL circuit. And if we have a source free RL circuit, we know that the current as a function of time is equal to I naught times E to the negative T over tau. And our time constant tau is equal to L over R. That is equal to L over R, which we have then four is four Henry divided by our resistance is 12, which is one third. So we can plug that in here. We know our I naught here is 1.2. So we can put that in here. So our final equation for our current through our I naught all the way up here, I naught, we have the equation 1.2 amps times e to the negative t well one, divided by one third which we can just write as negative three t and that is the solution to this problem 711